Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And it's time to do my weekly picks against the spread. We are entering week 15, four more weeks of NFL regular season action. Let's take a look at my record for this season. Had another very good week last week, going 9 5 and 1, putting me 26 games over 500 for the season, 112, 86, and 8. My tie last week was. The Raiders plus three in a game. They lost three to nothing. But we got our Thursday night football game tomorrow. And we got three Saturday games plus no teams with buys. A full 16 game schedule. It was a difficult week. Um, we got a lot of backup quarterbacks seemingly go going. Some guys I'm unsure if they're playing, but um, you know that's the risk picking on Wednesday. I want to get the picks in though before the Thursday night game, and thus far I've done pretty good for the season. But let's take a look. Here's um, Thursday, starting with the Thursday night game. Man, we got a stellar quarterback matchup in. Aiden O'Connell versus Easton Stick. Ouch. Honestly, um, probably would just take the home team in this game. So I'm taking the Raiders. Uh, you got to figure they got to put some points on the board. And I actually have a little bit more faith in their defense than the Chargers. Um, don't know if I'm a full-on believer in Jake Browning right now. But um, the Vikings quarterback situation isn't much better. Another game with backup quarterbacks, Jake Browning versus now we know Nick Mullins as um, Joshua Dobbs has been benched. Bengals just have been playing better of late than the Vikings, so I'm going with them to win. Uh, this one, I really don't know. The Steelers have lost back-to-back -back games to two awful franchises this year. Um, three and ten Cardinals, three and ten Patriots. Uh, but just call it the Mike Tomlin effect. This team's always go five uh, over five hundred and really need to win this game if they want that to continue. Um, Broncos plus four at the Lions. Uh, the Lions have looked a bit shaky of late. Um, I will say Jared Goff does seem to play better at home, but the Broncos' defense has really improved as the season has went along. I mean, that 70-point game seems like centuries ago, uh, where I at least think they keep it competitive. Meanwhile, I expect the Chiefs to bounce back. Maybe they're angry um, over that Kadarius Tony offsides call. Uh, you know, they said that they should have been, uh, he should have been warned. He wasn't. Um, they come out angry. I know the Patriots. Patriots do have a very good defense despite that awful record, uh, but the Chiefs have a very good defense as well, and I expect Bailey Zappi to have a few, couple turnovers. Dolphins minus 8.5 versus the Jets. Um, if you only look at last week, you think the spread's way too big. Dolphins blew a huge lead to the Titans, um, blowing a 14-point lead with like four minutes left. Meanwhile, the Jets had pretty much their best performance of the season in blowing out the Houston Texans. I just don't know if I believe in Zach Wilson. I have two straight good games, and... Um, you know, I expect the Dolphins to come out, um, you know, on fire. Really need this game if they want any chance at the number one seed in the AFC. And plus, the Bills somewhat breathing down their neck just two games behind. Uh, Giants plus six at the Saints. Don't look now. The Giants have won three in a row. A little. I'm a Giants fan. It seems to be a little too little, a little too late. Um, it just makes you wonder if they had only let Tommy DeVito try to throw the ball at all against the Jets, um, they probably would have won the game. And at 6-7, and seven, that puts you right in the hunt in the NFC. Now, what do they have? Maybe a 1% or 2% chance. Uh, but, you know, they I don't know if they win, but the Saints really haven't looked good of late. Derek Carr has been struggling. The defense has been hit or miss. And the Giants defense has played very well. Um, so I expect them to possibly get their fourth win in a row. Bears plus three at the Browns. Another team playing much better, the Chicago Bears. Uh, Cleveland Browns, yes, Joe Flacco has 
played admirably in his two starts. Hasn't been spectacular, but uh, compared to like Dorian Thompson Robinson and PJ Walker, he has played quite well. Uh, but the Bears keep it close, I believe. Uh, maybe win the game, or maybe it's like a 21 20 final score. Let's look at the other half of the week 15 schedule. I got the Packers rebounding minus three and a half versus the Buccaneers. Huge game for both teams as right now the Packers own the last seed in the NFC playoffs. Meanwhile, the Bucks currently have the tiebreaker in the terrible NFC South. Uh, so big game for both teams. I think the Packers rebound from their loss to the Giants. This one I had a really hard time. I go against the Falcons a lot. I don't believe in them at all. Uh, Desmond Ritter really hasn't shown me what much, but it's against the Panthers. I mean, nothing's going right for Carolina right now where I think Falcons cover that three-point spread. This one I had a tough time because... We don't know if C.J. Stroud's playing. We don't know if Nico Collins is playing. Uh, if not, we're going to get a Will Levis versus Davis Mills matchup. And I think David M Davis Mills can play well enough to keep the game close. Uh, Titans maybe have momentum off that huge comeback win versus the Dolphins, but they need an absolute miracle to reach the postseason. 49ers minus 12.5 at the Cardinals. Man, I'm going to take the Niners nearly every week regardless of the spread. Um, I think they win by at least two touchdowns. The Rams minus 6.5 versus the Commanders. Um, the way the Commanders are playing, I'm almost going to go against the Commanders every week against the spread. Rams have played much improved. Very heartbreaking loss to the Ravens last week on a punt return for a touchdown. But Matthew Stafford, 10 touchdown passes in the last three games. Uh, expect that to continue against a bad commander's defense. Very tough game. Maybe the game of the week here. Bills minus 2.5 versus the Cowboys. Cowboys, arguably the hottest team in the NFL. Um... I know the 49ers did blow them out, but that was a while back. Uh, and the Bills coming off a strong performance against the Chiefs probably should have beat the Eagles. And again, fighting for their playoff lives. I'm expecting them to win this game. Um, should be a good, good game to watch. Um, plenty of fireworks. Uh, Bills win by at least three. <sighs> Taking the Jaguars plus three versus the Ravens. Um, this one I went back and forth with. Uh, Trevor Lawrence should be a little healthier. There's a little more time to rest his bad ankle. Uh, Jaguars really need to win. Um, they want to keep their lead in the AFC South. Um, they're probably going to win the division, but if they want to ensure it, um, Ravens, you know, they're an awesome team. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I often do pick the Ravens. I just have a feeling the Jaguars might be able to pull that win out. And then our last game, two teams that are kind of floundering. I mean, less so the Eagles, but they really um, haven't looked very good, especially on the defensive end the past three or four games. Uh, but the Seahawks have had a murderer's row this schedule, and they haven't, a bit, haven't been able to prevail in any of them, Eagles rebound after that blowout loss to the Cowboys, win by at least six. So there you have it. Those are my Week 15 picks against the spread. Again, a lot of backup quarterbacks, some injuries where I'm unsure if the guy I'll be playing. Uh, but that's what I'm going with for the week. Hopefully I can have another winning week, extend my um over 500 mark to more than 26 games. But let me know in the comments who are some of your best bets. Who do you agree with? Who do you disagree with? Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.